And then I'm like, why can't the dudes who transition to women actually empower women and compete against the men? Since you so damn bad. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Manscaped.com. Everybody knows Manscaped take care of the man from the waist down. But now they got products from the neck up, which is where most of y'all should be operating from unless you marry. All right. I want to tell you about the, the, um, the Hedger Pro kit, the Beard Hedger Pro kit, which is an amazing kit. Probably one of the most amazing kits that I've had for, the, for my actual beard. Let me just explain to you what comes in the kit real quick. I won't take you too much of your time. You have the, uh, the balm. The beard balm, which is something that I do after I take a shower, after I use the conditioner and the shampoo, I put the balm on right before my beard dries out. And then before my videos, I'll just put a little bit of beard oil on there just to make it fluffy, make it look nice and sexy. And what's cool that comes with the kit is you have your, your comb, which is a wooden thick comb, which is pretty good. Then you have the brush here. And also, if you want to trim it up a little bit while you're on the camera, you can chop and slice and dice. Just make sure you know what you're doing so you don't hit a vein trying to be cute. But the prominent part of this entire thing which i i adore is the hedger itself now it comes with 20 different settings so for the people that got the little baby beards you can go all the way down to the baby beard and the people that got the lion mane like your boy right here then you could just put the setting all the way out give you a good quality trim titanium blades i mean this is the most amazing kit that i've seen and also you get a really good bag to put it in so when you travel like i do you travel you can put it in the bag with the charge and everything in it and you look good listen 20 percent off the kit if you put in discount code tatum that's discount code tatum you get 20 percent off your beard hedger pro kit go to manscaped.com manscaped.com forward slash tatum links are in the description section forget everything i say just go to the links like and subscribe to the channel hit the bell so you get a notification anytime i go live make a video make sure you subscribe to the channel you already know what to do let's get into this ladies and gentlemen i want to bring in another video of marcellus wiley i'll pull it up on the screen uh real quick i i want to talk to you about marcellus wiley because i mean i don't know how many times i have to say that i admire how he stands up and he's bold because you rarely see other brothers that look like me that's will that got a platform that's willing to say these things. So Marcellus Wiley had an incredible take, and I'm telling you, man, it's rare that I feel like somebody's said something better than I can say it. It's rare that I feel like somebody has thought this through a little more than I have. And I, I talk about this subject of athletes that are trans in, 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 in female sports I talk about it all day long till I'm blue in the face. But I never thought of it like what Marcella said. Wrote a clip. I have no issue with transgenders. I do have an issue with athletes who are transgender trying to participate, going from a transition of a man to a woman and now playing with the women. And I will say that. Y'all can try and Dave Chappelle me all y'all want. I am very clear on this. You could be a transgender, you could be the homie. But I'll be damned if a male at birth turns into a female and tries to compete against my daughters. She ain't out there. We, we, we out. Don't make this a human rights issue. This is a biological issue. Simple as that. Trust me, I am a man. And then I'm like, why can't the dudes who transition to women actually empower women and compete against the men? Since you so damn bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if I were me, Marcellus, and then tomorrow... I'm Martha. I change up my gender. I'm now a woman. You know what I would try to do? Compete against the dudes. Why? Because that's empowering. Flojo, what's the world record in the, in the 100? 10, 4, 9, 10, 4, 8? What's it in, in, in the 100 for men? 9, 5, 8? A damn second almost? Man, y'all better stop playing. And why use objective numbers? Because it's pretty easy to digest. I hate saying fair, but it's just not even right. Forget fair. It's not right. I have no issue. I love, I love that he said that. that it is it, hilarious to me. I never thought that how about you, because because they do this all the time. We saw it in the Super Bowl. Remember? They had the little girl running through the hallway. She dodging. and, and, and she, Listen, Ramsey would have tackled her, and she would have been unconscious a long time ago. But somehow he's running through and chasing her down, and he can't catch her. Um, but anyway, they had a girl running through and embarrassing all the men because she's so stunning and brave. It, it, to be honest, it's like, well, show if you want to have equal pay and all that stuff, show me where you're equally talented. Let me see 
uh, uh, Big Body that went that went overseas in Russia got caught up. Let me see Big Body get in the NBA and do something. She won't even make the practice squad. I would argue she wouldn't make the practice squad whatsoever. Dudes, Muggsy Bowles could block her shot. He jump, you know, uh, sixty inch vertical leap. Pow! Hit one on one. He'll beat her. I think. But show me your worth. But if these men, knowing this is the part that kills me, you know that your talent level is far reaching, far beyond what women can do before you transition. Because this is the point. When you're Leo Thomas and all these people, you were competing as a man in the sport. And while you were competing as a man, you could look across the aisle and see what the women's times were, and you knew you were killing them. And here's another thing. When you transitioned, you know what your times are. You know that your time only went down a tenth of a second. So you know for a fact that when you were a man or living as a man, you were dominating women. You live as a woman now, and you're still dominating women. You know that you have an unfair advantage. Women empowerment will say, I'm good enough, and I'm going to play with the men, and I'm going to show that women can compete with men. But, you, but they don't do that because they weren't, in my opinion, wasn't sufficient enough to compete, uh, have a, a strong competition with the men, so now they want to dominate women. That's exactly what Leo Thomas did. That's exactly what the dude did. And, 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 and I love that Marcellus brought this up. Because I wasn't thinking about that. Have them compete against the men if they're so stunning and so brave. But we all know, people with common sense know, they're not going to do that because there is no advantage of doing that. That's why you never hear of a woman transitioning to being a man competing in male sports. It, if there is no advantage to be had, no advantage to be had, why aren't there more women transitioning to men playing in male sports? If there's no advantage and, and, and you, whatever is equal, it's, I, you know, it's nothing wrong with it. You take testosterone or estrogen and it's balanced out and you're, to, you're totally biologically the same or competitive. You know, it's bull crap. Ain't no woman on planet Earth transitioning to being a man and can compete in any male sports. For one reason, biologically, physically, they're smaller. They're little. They're not as strong. Because they've been living like a woman their entire life. They ain't strong. They don't have the muscle density. They don't have the, they don't have the lung capacity. They don't have any of those things. So it would be a nightmare for them to try to continue to play sports now that they've transitioned to being a man. But we all know that if I got today, I haven't lifted weights in a very long time. If I decided today to transition to being a woman and I took hormones for six months, I will still dominate 80% of women in this country in every sport possible. Every one of them. About 80% in every sport. There's probably some girls that can beat me in some long distance running because I'm, you know, I'm, 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 a, I'm about 150 pounds heavier than they are. But y'all know what I'm saying. Shout out to Marcellus Wally. Another great video. You like and subscribe. Make sure you get some Manscaped. Um, women, buy for your husband since he's too lazy to buy for himself. Just go ahead and get it for him. All right. I'll see y'all on the next one, man. I'm out.